Today, we will see one rare neurological manifestations on the tongue, fibrillation of the tongue. Before we discuss, let us see the video first. Here. There are rapid, fine movements both sides in the resting tongue. All of us know the utility of tongue is, a, in, is um, affording many signs for the diagnosis of diseases. What about the neurological aspect of tongue examination? All of us know the functions of the tongue, the sensation especially the taste and the involvement and the, the role it plays in the expression, articulation, speech and it also is important in the swallowing also. So main innovation, the trigeminal and the posterior part, glossopharyngeal and the motor is a pure motor now lingual. Today we won't be discussing anything about the other utilities but just the neurological examination. So to begin with you just look in good lighting with the mouth open, tongue in the resting position and later tongue in the protruded position. The inspection, first the bulk, that can be a wasting maybe to the one half or the bilaterally in case of hypoglossal lesions. The movements of tongue again is to be tested by asking him to touch the cheeks. The role of the muscle is to push not to pull. So when there is a paralysis, the deviation will be to the same side. We won't be discussing in this video about the examination of the sensation, taste sensation and the speech analysis. We will be just seeing the abnormal moments. In this case, we are seeing the fasciculation of the tongue. And uh, close mimic is tremor which can occur not in a, a child but in adults due to many conditions, Parkinson's, uh, essential tremor, thyrotoxicosis, some of the drugs rarely produces tremor which can sometimes mimic uh, these fasciculations. Always better to look for the fasciculations when the tongue is within the mouth. Maybe on protruding, this tremor and the fasciculations may disappear. The same sort of moments can be there in the hands, polyminimyoclonus.